Hello everyone, uh, it's still Winston here, welcome to my channel, and, um, I'm continuing this old Let's Play of Knights of the Old Republic. Um, basically I, I, I got the last, um, piece of the Starforge map, and I killed both of the, both of the Sith. Yeah. And now everybody wants to take a swing at me. Yes? Cast Night Power. On I don't I don't know if what I did is a cannon. Um, hey Jahani, you better take care of yourself, girl. You're 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 dead. Jolene ended up all the way over there. find uh yes I, d I don't know if it's canon that um revan destroys the specific academy i think he does Imagine we're going to have to cut more people down on the way out. security why not and we'll give you that Julie 
intelligence. You should have a lot more intelligence. It's a force consular. They're, they're supposed to be all about that. Dude, force wave. Mikel Druma. sword I want to use. I mean that. Okay, we should, uh, I think we're probably going to need to fight our way to the hangar. And then we go to the unknown planet. And then it's the final battle. Actually, how, all right. Take two of those. And... Uh-oh, bounty hunter. You cool no no bam bully rat kun. Tong hit kun chunching. Takom juice tak. Kuyami. Runda di hotong achuta. Juno Haradan say to see who us come alone or not at all. I'll just I'll just save. I'm just gonna save real quick. Let's get out of here. It takes us to... Alright, so we've got all pieces of the star map now, so... We're, uh, we're at the end game, finally. This was my, um... This was my first Let's Play. I didn't actually finish this, but I want to finish it, you know?
Candorous. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, tell me more about the Mandalorian Wars. We fought against the Republic forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once you had taken charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. You were a genius on the field. You are held in very high regard among my people. You abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others could be too fortified to strike. You made sacrifices in order to advance your goals. Such strategies had never been enough to best us before. In the end, you proved too much for us. But what about the Sith? The Sith had gone, retreated into their empire. They sealed themselves off from the rest of the galaxy. We thought it would be centuries before they'd come back. It's amazing that they could rebuild their fleet so fast. But at the time, it looked like the galaxy was in our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. But you eventually lost. Yeah, we lost. But there is no shame in it. We lost to the greatest single warrior the Republic has ever known. It was not your ships, or your men, or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, you, that the Republic prevailed. Your strategies and tactics defeated the best we could send against you. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of your attacks, the tenacity of your defenses, and the subtleties of your plans. You fought us to a standstill. And then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. Why didn't you retreat? It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best, in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And you won. I hold no grudge against you, nor do any of my people. It was the greatest of honors to fight against you, even in defeat. It is even more of an honor to fight beside you now. Had you been born of the Mandalorian clans, surely nothing in this galaxy would have been able to stop us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else you want to know? Your choice. All right, I think that's Candrus's quest done. Nah. Solari Crystal. What do you know about the Seth? Bad, bad men. Women too, to be fair. You must know more than that. Oh, indeed. They make a fine sandwich also. <laughs> but don't tell the Jedi Council I said that. You're being elusive on purpose. <laughs> I love this and guy, Julie. what gave you the guy. impression that I know anything more about the Sith than you do? Well, you did. You said you fought them. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Damn the years of the young. I was expecting you to be your usual inattentive self when hey. I mentioned that. So it's true, yes. I fought plenty of Sith. That was during the time of Exar Kun. Oh, 40 years ago now. Has it been that long? Mm. 
Sorry there, folks. I'm just going to shorten this a wee bit more. There we go. Uh, yeah, XR Kun. Uh, this was in a comic book series, I believe. Um, yeah, who's this XR Kun? Uh, XR was a Jedi who was corrupted by ghosts of the old Sith. Or so yeah, I think say. it was. He attempted to conquer um, the Republic and create a new golden age of the Sith. Sort of like Revan, I mean me. Um. Better to say he was defeated, but essentially. Yeah, he yes. came back during uh, during easily, Luke's however. time, um, as a ghost. What happened during the war with Exar Kun? That is not a pleasant time to remember. After Exar Kun fell to the dark side, he attempted to recruit other Jedi to his cause. What surprised us, what took us completely unprepared, was how utterly successful he was. Many Jedi joined him and became Sith themselves. Why they did, I... I will never truly know, but they did. Battle broke out throughout the Order, pupil against the Master. We fought ourselves. That must have been difficult. Yes, more than difficult. Next to impossible. How do you fight against someone you love? Pah, I dislike such memories. It leaves a taste in the mouth that... It is a sadness I thought I'd put aside long ago. Ask me about the war some other time, just not now. I would prefer to be by myself for now. <clears throat> Alright, um... Jahani! How may I be of a... Yeah, I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you... Tell me more about your past. Well, I suppose I have not talked very much about the Jedi I met back home. They, all of them, were so very invigorating. Invigorating? They were so very alive. So full of hope and energy and zeal. In the retrospect, I can see it was a little bit tragic. What do you mean? Those Jedi were going to fight the Mandalorians just after yeah, the Yeah, okay, day. yeah, fair enough. Many of those Jedi perished in the fighting. But to us, they seemed invincible. Especially their leader, who they talked about all the time. Paragons of light and justice, sweeping away all iniquity before them. It was like looking at gods. Damn straight, I do look divine. I can only assume that that was some misguided attempt at humor. I was using poetic license. But those Jedi, they were enthralling. Everyone wanted just to touch them. Some people thought it would bring them luck. Not that the peace they brought lasted very long. The Jedi yeah. left. The people grew complacent. Those who had been wronged saw their chance at revenge. And so the cycle continues. The oppressed become the new generation of oppressors. The human oppressed, that is. The non-humans were never treated well in any case. We felt the brunt of both administrations. Was it that bad? Of course it was. They took their frustrations and hate out on us because the people they wanted had already fled or were too well protected. But no one looks out for the injustices we suffered. Oh no. But. But I am sorry. I should not have outbursts like that. As long as you don't let your anger influence you. Don't you see? The very fact I mentioned it means it has its influence. Anger can lead to the dark side, and I must be ever careful that I do not fall back into those ways. I... I thank you for your support. My outburst was uncalled for, but you did not lash back at me. You are a much better Jedi than I, it would seem. But let us not speak more of this now. We should continue on our journey. Perhaps later we will talk again. Oh. 
All right. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. All right. Starforge system. This planet has no entry in the Republic archives. Malak. You are strong, child. But I will break you. I'll never fall to the dark side. <laughs> you think torture will turn me, Malak? You are a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastula. You misunderstand. Uh -oh. This is but a taste of the dark the side. The dark side. To whet your appetite. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. Never. <laughs> Such resolve in your words, but I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Darth Malak. <clears throat> that guy, that guy is so evil. He's very more. <laughs> So this was uh this is what Revan and Malik were working on basically. The Starforge. I've never seen anything like it. I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. Maybe a quick strike by the Republic can cripple the Sith fleet. Message is away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. Small vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone needs to get on those gun turrets. Take those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet. All right. Okay, we got a gun turret section.
Alright, that's all of them. Oh, we've got problems. We've flown in some kind of disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads and all si- I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing. Uh oh Talk about your rough landings, Karth. What's the matter? You're flying like you've been on an all-night Theresian Ale drinking binge. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebonhawk airborne again. During our rather rapid descent, I noticed the holes of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. Perhaps the parts you need can be found among their wreckage. The Cathar's right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. I wonder why the Seth aren't affected. They must have some kind of protection against it, but the Republic fleet won't. We have to find a way to disable that disruptor field, or the Sith will slaughter them. T3's picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient temple. Uh, you all seem to be forgetting about Bastila. We haven't forgotten about her, but we can't do her much good stuck down here. We have to help ourselves before we can help her. I only hope we're not too late. Bastila has been Malik's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him and the Sith will be invincible. Even together, they're no match for me. I used to be the Sith Lord, remember? I remember, though I hoped you would not be so quick to embrace the being you once were. If Bastila feels as you do, then she is lost to us, Revan. Don't call me that. I'm not Revan anymore. I'm glad to hear you say that. Now that you know your true identity, I was afraid you might slip back over to the docks. Well, if Bastila's on the Starforge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. If we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Karth. Well, so do I, Mission. So do I. Bleh, <laughs> <laughs> went really dark side there. Got something up. Do you know anything about this place? <laughs> Hard to say what this planet is. Been lost for thousands of years. If not more, it smells like bad, bad karma, so watch your step. And that's about all. Do you want to talk about the war? Not particularly. No time like the present? I suppose you're going to nag me until I cough it up, aren't you? Nothing is private anymore, it looks like. <sighs> There's no escaping it, I guess. So be it. My wife's name was Nayama. She was the Yukatis Enforcer who shot me out of the sky, if you remember. What does your wife have to do with the war? My wife had plenty to do with the war. Upon meeting her, I knew right away that she was strong in the Force. That's why she was able to shoot me down. Nayama was a marvel of a woman. Fiery, determined, smart, 
She dragged me to the capital and foiled three of my attempts to escape prison. Oh, and that body. The war? Well, yes, that. <clears throat> Needless to say, I eventually won her over. That was after I kidnapped her upon being broken out of the Yukata's prison, mind you. But, uh, that's another story entirely. At any rate, I wanted to train her in the Jedi way. The Council refused my request, naturally. I was still a Padawan at the time. I was an experienced Padawan, surely, but not yet ready to be a full Jedi, and certainly not ready to train another, especially not one so old as my wife. What did she think? Nayama was intrigued by the idea of becoming a Jedi. She liked the idea of power too much, perhaps, but I certainly didn't see that at the time. I believed in her and trained her in secret. I ignored her willful nature. I loved her too much to see fault in her. And she loved me too. I know she did. At the time, our love was a shared bliss. Better than anything I had known before or since. So what happened? Exar Kun is what happened. Nayama was inspired by Exar's promises of a new golden age. She wanted to join him. She came to me, pleading with me to throw aside what she called the decrepit trappings of the Jedi, to join her in Exar's war. So she had fallen to the dark side? I hadn't thought so, not right then. I was too proud to believe that of her. I had trained her myself. I loved her. I pleaded with her to reconsider to think about all that she was throwing away, to think about what she would become. She would have none of it. Finally, in frustration, she attacked me. She drew her lightsaber and attempted to strike me down. It was a scene being repeated everywhere throughout the galaxy. Pupil against master. In my case, it was a long and terrible battle, but I defeated her. No, no, I had her at my mercy, disarmed and defenseless. She looked up at me and she knew. She knew I couldn't do it. I don't think I could have either. But I should have. Sometimes I convince myself otherwise, but it's no use. She had fallen to the dark side when she raised her saber against me. And I let her go. To my shame, she went on to kill many Jedi during the war, until she herself was slain in the final battle. I grieved for her death, inevitable as it was, even as the Jedi Council put me on trial for my actions once the war was over. Wait, they put you on trial? I had trained Nayama against their wishes. I had failed to kill her when I had the chance, and she went on to kill others. Not to mention that I had remained a Padawan throughout the war. A formality, perhaps, but with a trial, it had to be decided if I was worthy to become a Jedi at all. It was a travesty, of course. I told you that even the Jedi were capable of great injustices, didn't I? So you think you didn't deserve to be punished? Of course I deserve to be punished. They found me innocent anyway. Oh. Even though I deserved every punishment and more, they let me go. Mitigating circumstances, they said. I deserved compassion, they said. They said I had learned wisdom the hard way. For all I had done during the war, they wished to raise me to full Jedi status at long last. That. That was when the Jedi left me. That was when they failed me. I don't understand. No, maybe you don't at that. They may have been able to forgive me. I could never forgive myself. I... Yes, I do, I suppose. Does that surprise you? Uh, it is all so long ago, lost in the winds, I suppose. Nobody cares what an old man believes anymore, do they? Let's continue on with the task at hand. I would prefer to think of the present today. All right. All right, let's be off. Let's go. All right. 
Um, let's take... Um... Um... Yeah, I'll take Johanny and Karth. Yes. Ready. Yes? What is it? They're not friendly. Down you go. Well, they attacked me first. La boda ni wen kis matoma. Wana ko best ching ba ma rulira. Top ching ba non kick. So, what are you doing here? Tiska du suki ku ba na bona na kachu. A to inko tu. To ka da bun kwali a gando na go chu chu. Ka ba chi ku ita o tonga. Ya la mo inko tu. Ji lo ba rulira ni bobo. Wago kung best ka gang ba mamarulira. Ya to ka uluan king kun na ba murira. Rachi kun. Mucha shak pangpa. Well, where are the rest of your companions? Ja wana bota ayu at ta hunga cha kanki dora. Kachi ku ita hodonga. Topa da bung wali agando do na no chut chut. Mucha pa pangpa. Bola wana chit ne. Ba muli slay mo po da wanga kun best murira ra best. The native creatures killed the others? La boda ni winkis matoma. Wana ku best ching pa ma rulira. Tok ching bang non kick. Tok ninja mulira ra bes. Tiska du suki ku ba na bona na gachu. Al tu inko tu. Tok ada bun kualia gando na go chu chu. Kapach. Wait, there's Mandalorians here? Kuya mi chuskuna chitanai. Ina kun mama rulira rachikun. Slimo patona. 
Rundi Hodonga Chihonkabi, Chawana Bota Ayua Tahonga Chakanki Dora, Kachikui Tahodonga, Topa da Bungwalia Gan. Where are they? Yatoka Uluan Kinkuna Bamurira, Rachikun, Mucha Shakpanpa, Uba Batu Kochi, Tong Nong Bong Chang. But you can stay in our ship if you want. Kuyami just kuna chitana pai. Ina kun mama rutira rachikun. Slimo paton. Why don't you try to get to one of the other islands then? Tiska du suki kuban. Nabona na kachu. Up to inko tu. Top pada bungwalia gandonago chu. Uchud. Kabachi. Uba patu kochi. Tong nong bong chang nung gang. Tong tops ma. La boda ni winkis ma toma. Wanna call best Ching Pama Rulira. Well, thanks for the exposition dump, I guess. Alright, I'll end the video here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends. And uh, see you next video. Take care.